Welcome to Discover Diamond friends. I'm your host today. In this tutorial, we are going to cover data visualization technique, right? Uh, you may be heard about the donut chart, right? But how we are going to use that particular donut chart interactively, right? In MS Excel. So I'm going to demonstrate you on my computer screen. So without further delay, let's get started. Welcome to the computer screen guys. Uh, this is the basic data raw dump I do have, right? These are the fields which I'm going to, you know, analyze uh, with the help of donut chart, right? I'm first converting those into the PO table, right? Adding the fields which would require for us, right? For the analyzing, added the field in rows and then adding the values, correct? Installment. I'm just checking the what type of data I can get analyzed. So this is the basic uh, raw dump guys. Again, just on a demonstration purpose, I'm um, using this, right? Just select this particular field and then right click. Post that, just click on the show a value as percentage in column wise. So it will automatically get, you know, showcased in the percentage, correct? I'm just removing those particular two digits. You can click on the control one or either right click format cells factor, right? Cool. and then I'm just adding over here is equal to so whatever remaining uh, value apart from the you know 35% so whatever amount would be added it will be showcased over here right so total overall 100% so I'll uh, show you why we are doing this okay once I add the uh, you know chart in it you will get the idea just add it and then The option is available in insert guys okay so click on the blank cell any and then insert there is an option called donut correct just click on the blank cell so it will give you the blank value or maybe blank field you for it right then go and design select data source just add series name, whatever you want to add it. I'm just adding the random one and just add one, 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 just one comma, one comma, one, right. And then press OK. It will automatically show you some value get added in this particular uh, donut, correct? And then uh, just remove this particular heading and then bottom text. Okay. Correct. So you can see the uh, donut is uh, we are seeing that it's visible. I'm just removing the uh, outline and the shape field right uh, post that i'll ensure that whatever context i have added in the left hand side that needs to be re uh, reflected in this particular donut i'm just resizing it the whole size correct right click again and we'll do that thing again and again because we need to change some formatting as well right so add label it will show you the whatever labels we have added so it will showcase us i'll just do the control z i don't require that i was just checking that you know it's not taking any wrong value anyways we are done over here so far and then again select data edit then we'll select this series first mortgage and then series values whatever values we need to add right so this is the thing and then okay just press on the OK button. You can see the earlier section is below and the whatever data, actual data is there, it's on top. So just change the color uh, which we have added the label, right? It's a mortgage one. Just change the color again, right click format data series. Then you can see over here fill option. You can change the color accordingly, right guys? Uh, once you click on this that particular section, you can change it. I'm just changing the uh, lines for this particular uh, donut. I'll show you the another donut as well, right? Where we'll remove the outlines for that particular donut. So we can analyze data effectively. So it's a complete upon you, uh, how we need to visualize the data. I'm just adding the color solid white. 
so if i am keeping the no then it will show me the background uh, value which i have added right so it, hence i need to choose the color as a white then right click change data series chart type so whatever we have two charts right in it so just select the one checkbox on and then this is the thing you can see the data has been showcase you like this okay now uh, accordingly you know uh, we need to create some uh, the same format copy paste and uh, all these things uh, i don't want to waste much time over here okay so hence i am you know uh, keeping one copy as of now okay i'll show you the first mortgage one and then post that you can you will get the idea about you know how we can create for own and rent as well right the order fields i have added correct so this is the data basically and then i'll make sure that you know whatever fields it's showing me it's popping me up so it can show me in the below value as well okay it's uh, it's working on donut but uh, it's not showing the value what exactly it's showcasing us so what we need to do we need to ensure that whatever values they are fetching it needs to be get highlighted down right so margin center i'm just adding the value correct is equal to b4 so whatever value it's fetching from correct so that will get redirected over here and again the whatever is, uh, loan status we are adding it so we need to add that as well in this particular donut so ensure that we are adding that line as well merge center is equal to and then whatever b1 column is there will give the bc c uh, b sorry so we'll add that as well and then is equal to whatever b1 value is there so we'll fetch over here first and then you can see the value uh, in g column g2 will automatically get highlighted right so complete upon you how you want to keep it i am just uh, you know demonstrating you guys so how we can work accordingly right just turning off the grid lines so it will look like more appealing i'm just hiding the trying to hide it uh, it will if it if it can you know give us in a nice view but i don't think so it will work let me try i'll add the slicer first okay so instead of using uh, those particular filters we'll directly use the slicers so slicer will help us let me try no nope, it's not working fine so control z i'll keep it as is that's fine uh, we we can control x and uh, keep it on dashboard that's fine complete upon us right so it's an interactive dashboard basically and uh, let me add one more uh, donut for you guys okay so we'll add for own the second category right so it will show us the actual value for it okay it's in a slicer basically how we going to add it the value from it so it now we'll create for the second category again let me pull that over then go again insert option again the donut if you missed the earlier video guys you know now you can concentratedly see in this particular uh, section right I'll, i'll show you once again we just need to add first blank donut uh, chart right and then go into the design tab select data then add the whatever text name you need to add it this text i have added 111 comma 1 comma 1 okay complete upon you how you want to add it one range okay and then just press okay button okay Okay, first try to uh, add one value at a time it will help you guys okay i'm just cancelling this thing and i'll show you once again 
Okay, I'll, I'll add the data value once again. Making sure that all values are getting highlighted. Just deleting this thing. And then again, no fill, no outline for second donut as well. Right. And then select the data value again on series. I'm selecting the series. Okay. Okay. The same thing which we did for uh, no values, right? This we are going to do for this thing as well. I'm just keeping color no fill right correct now I click on the no fill hence uh, whatever data is in back right it's showing me over here so hence we need to ensure that we are selecting the color as a white right so whatever data it is in back this particular donut it's uh, fetching me that so hence let me change that color first select okay just select that particular field and then you can change the color for that particular section okay now you can see I have kept white right so here you can see the white section but there are border available in the left hand side and the right hand side you can see border is not given for that particular donut it's complete upon you guys you know, I'm just demonstrating you and again I'm just uh, giving the reference value for the values which we have added in the PO table right again the top header as well uh, doing the same thing so with one single slicer, we can see the, uh, you know, donut chart is in a much interactive way. Correct. Uh, guys, uh, if you are new to this channel, so I would recommend, so please subscribe my channel. This will help me to create more videos like this. Okay. And it will keep my morale high to create such videos, right? I'm clicking on the dashboard first and uh, then slicer. So I can add the slicer value and ensure that you know while we are adding the slicer guys we are uh, making the connection uh, for the two databases basically right here I have only one table so that's fine but if we do have two tables three tables we need to ensure that we are making the uh, connection for it right let me show you what I'm trying to say you I'm just adding this particular slicers and adjusting it okay correct so this is the thing and then report connection you can see over here only one table is there so that's fine right again for this as well correct I hope you found this useful guys uh, so please subscribe my channel this will help me to create a more videos uh, like this free of cost correct and thanks for watching